Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. So today I prepared a project how you can make a really nice case for your hot water bottle. So this is super easy for beginners and I think pretty nifty and useful in the end. So in my case, I made an opening with an elastic band, which is of course purely optional. You could do a regular zipper somewhere on the side as well. So just take any fabric that you like and that is big enough to fit your hot water bottle and we can get started with our project. If you're a beginner, feel free to watch, it's really easy to do. So you will need your hot water bottle, you will need an elastic band, pins, scissors and the fabric of your choice and I'm saying this because you can use pretty much whatever fabric you want to use so you have really all the freedom here. Take something that you like the texture of since this is something you'll be using and yeah in my case I'm taking stretchy fabric but as I said you can always choose whatever you like. So maybe something a bit more soft or even a bit more rough would do. So just make sure that the piece is big enough to fit your water bottle and we can get started. Okay, so the prep is super easy. Put the bottle on your fabric and just cut along the edges. So I left one centimeter extra on each side. In my case, I have this weird part two at the end, so I included that as well. But if you don't, then you have it even easier. You can just leave the thing straight on the bottom. But before you cut, make sure you have one to 1.5 centimeters more on each side than the actual size of the hot water bottle. On top, just do a little snip to mark where your bottleneck is starting so that you know later where it is. But I would for now leave it like this so that I can do the elastic band effect. But since it's optional, you could of course um, kind of go along with the shape and then simply make an opening on the side anywhere so that you can put your water bottle in and take it out. But I'll do this on top so that's why I have a bit more fabric here on top. So depending on what you want to do, you might need to adjust. I also have the rubber band for the sides and the opening and I want to make the top section a bit tighter. So you won't need much, but when you fold it in half like this and put it over the neck, it should still fit the fabric when you, um, let's say, kind of stretch it out a bit to the length of the fabric itself. So the first step is to put the pretty side on pretty side. And then just sew it together except for the top side. Also make sure to align the snips. It's easier if you use safety pins or regular pins. So just put it together so that it stays in place. Before we start, depending on the type of fabric you have, you might have to adjust your sewing machine. So since I'm using stretchy fabric for my project, I have my jersey needle and the stretch stitch.
Now you can turn it inside out and check the size with the bottle. Then again, turn it inside out, tube this inside. Take the elastic waistband and cut it in half. Find your snipped parts and pin together. So I'll try to make it so that it doesn't pull the stitches. You might have to adjust a bit to get it to be this way. Then you can sew this up a couple of times there and back. So it's really easy, like when you finish a stitch on both sides and turn it around and do again on the other side. You could technically do this um, at the same time, but be really careful in that case. So now I finished this step and I can turn it inside out and they want to try the size. Okay, looks good. It's a bit looser since the bottle is empty. The top where the band is still needs some fixing before it looks good since we want it to be visible on the outside too. So I chose my stitch to be yellow on purpose so that I can match it to the yellow details that I have somewhere on the fabric so not all over, just kind of somewhere. So let's now do this part. So I'm using a straight stitch now and I'll simply go over the band from the inside. Once on the top and once on the bottom, just make sure that you don't pull or wrinkle the band so that you get a neat result. You can pin it if you want to make sure it stays in place. So now I have this part done. You see how the fabric looks on the outside? This is exactly what I wanted, so I'm really happy with the result. Now the very top part just needs a nice stitch on top, so I'll fold it inwards all the way to the band, and I actually decided to sew it by hand so that I can hide the stitch, and I think it's gonna look a lot nicer that way. So. The thing I'm gonna do is try to sew as close as I can to the top stitch that's already on the band. Make sure that you go through the band but not through the outside fabric. That's how we hide the stitch. So I filled my hot water bottle to check the size and it looks great, so I think my size fits. Make sure to always check when you work. So the hummus are looking good on here and also here on the bottom I just kind of covered this weird tail thingy. You could have left an opening and then simply have it kind of sticking out or fold it and have a straight stitch so that way it looks kinda hidden. So the top section also looks good. I really like the yellow stitch, how it's standing out. I think it matches the pattern really nicely. So the shade is almost identical. And the top is also really neat. So you don't see it on the outside, the stitch that we did. You see it on the inside, but I think that's quite alright. 
So let me know what you guys think. If you tried it out, let me know how complicated or how easy it was for you. If you would like to see more, feel free to shoot us a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel. That way you can get notified every time we post something new and it's all for free. So thanks for watching DIY Ideas. Feel free to let us know if you have any wishes or questions or ideas for future projects and we'll make sure to try to figure something out. So. Thanks for watching DIY Ideas, I'll see you in our next video, until then have a wonderful day, bye!